Hey guys, I'm going to show you how we connect ProPresenter to QLC to control the lighting scenes on Sunday morning. Um, QLC has um, a group of 15 buttons here, and these have all been mapped to an external MIDI signal. Um, I'm in design mode, and I can show you by double-clicking one of these buttons what happens. Um, the function calls the pre-service countdown, but the input, um, aside from simply being able to click the button with your mouse, um, the desired input is MIDI. And so if external input is given to QLC, it only listens to it on MIDI for this particular button. And the channel it listens to is 157. Now, channel is not the correct word in QLC, uh, but there's a little bit of grace. Uh, the guy that designed this is Italian. Um, so in our world, a MIDI channel uh, is different than a MIDI note. So really what this is is a MIDI note. So 157 is a non-conventional MIDI note. MIDI notes go from 0 to 127 or 1 to 128 depending on the system you're using. This particular note is 157 and they've done that because there's a certain number of controls that you can have and so they've stacked the numbers on top of the 0 to 129, or 1 to 129, and um, I've just continued counting up. So here's what I'll show you. Um, in ProPresenter, if we want to, I'll turn off editing mode, if we want to trigger scene number two, which is the same as the prelude band on, if I want this button to be automatically pressed, in ProPresenter, what I'm going to do is go to the slide that I want to trigger that. And it could be this slide, it could be this slide. We'll pick this first slide as an example. And I'm going to right click, add a cue, add a communication cue, and I'm going to add a MIDI note on. This is like pressing a key on a piano. The device is IAC bus 1, it's already defaulted there. The MIDI command we're selecting is MIDI note on. And the channel we want. Uh, we can get from seeing what the configuration is in QLC. Now this is probably never going to change, but if we look at our inputs and outputs on, uh, remember, Universe 6, we can see that the MIDI driver is receiving on channel 13. So, you don't need to configure this. This is already set. Um, let's go back to the Virtual Console. So in ProPresenter, I'm going to remove this cue because it's incorrect, I'm going to right click, I'm going to add a communication to queue, I'm going to click MIDI note on, I'll select channel 13 because we know that QLC is listening on channel 13, and if we recall the note value for number 2, if we double click and look at it, is 158. Well we don't have that option when we look at our numbers here. We have 0 through 127 I believe yeah 127 and those correspond to the keys on our piano right so we don't have a 158 but that's okay because all we have to do is take the number that we have in QLC 158 and subtract 129 from it this is this will always be the the, the same um, unless the designer of the software changes something so I'll just open up calculator since I I'm terrible with subtraction in my head and I'll do 158 minus 129 that gives me a value of 29 okay so I can leave QLC now and what I'll do here is select value 29 so that's an F0 the other thing that I need to do is make sure that it has at least an intensity of 1 if there's this is uh, when you press a piano uh, piano key you press it at a certain speed the harder you hit it, the louder it is. Well, the same thing goes for MIDI note on. This is like saying, I'm going to press it as soft as I possibly can, and if I went all the way up to 127, it would be pressing it as hard as I possibly can. In terms of QLC, QLC doesn't care how hard you hit the key. It just needs to see a signal. If you select zero, it's like saying no signal at all. So we need to select at least one. Once we do that, click done and now you can see that there's a MIDI cue here. Before we continue we need to also add a MIDI note off cue. This is like when you have 
the, the, the piano key pressed down and you want to play a middle C again, but you've already played the middle C once. You can't play it again until you lift your finger off the keyboard and press it again. So we need to also add a MIDI add cue, communication cue, MIDI note off on the same channel, channel 13, and we need to choose the same note. And the note was F029. Now we're done. Now we have an on and an off cue. So what will happen is Pro Presenter will send a MIDI note on and off cue into the ether. It goes into the system. It's called the Inter Application Communications Bus. Because QLC is listening on that bus, it will hear that signal. And because this button has been tuned into that channel, so to speak, that note, it will respond by doing this function. So when we click this, after we go back into live mode, when we click this, we're going to see that it switched. So now Prelude Band On is on. Okay, so if I want to click another slide and switch to 3, let's see what 3 is on. 3 is on 159. Okay, so let's go over to ProPresenter and let's switch to, let's say, verse 1 and add a communication cue, MIDI note on. We want channel 13 and we want F sharp 0 or 30. Now I know that because it's in sequence. I just did the math on the last one. I don't necessarily need to do the math this time. But if this one's 159 and this one is 158, then naturally I'm just going to increment this by 1. But if I didn't know, again, I can take the number I see on the button in QLC and subtract 129 from it to get that number. Then I'll know which note I need to choose for the, uh, the MIDI cue on in ProPresenter. Um, this intensity needs to be one, at least one. Um, it won't matter if it's 12 or 15 or 125. It just needs to be at least one. And then we'll add another cue, add a MIDI communication note off cue and channel 13. If you don't get the right channel, it's not gonna send the cue down the right uh, down the right channel and QLC won't be listening to it and it needs to be also the right note off so F sharp 0 done now when I click let me, let me make this window smaller so you can see the action when I click this Q also need to be live when I click this Q it switches to call the worship it also switches here from 2 to 3 these buttons are on the same function, so they mirror each other. So again, if I click the chorus here, this slide, it goes to Prelude Band On. If I click this slide, it jumps to Call the Worship. And that's how we use ProPresenter to switch between scenes in QLC Plus to change the lighting scenes. Uh, MIDI can also be used to uh, control any other device on the network or inside of this computer that's listening to a specific channel, note, or velocity. Um, in order to change lighting, change um, any various electronic things. Um, we can launch Ableton clips, we can start or stop recording, we can uh, control the soundboard, we could turn on and off um, specific lights. Um, basically, the, the, the world is your canvas. So if that helped you, I'm glad. If it didn't, ask me and I'll help you. But that's how MIDI cues are sent out of ProPresenter to the rest of the world. All right, thanks.